Ladies and gentlemen, a good friend of mine, um, she would have had my baby if I didn't have another baby with someone else. All right, all right. You don't want to hear about that, Laura Style? No, no, I don't. <laughs> Kay, Kay Michelle He never here. got it together. Like, we were um, always friends. We never took it to the... The bedroom. I was going to impregnate think I, you, though. Yeah, I believe you. I think um, our friendship. Um, I was going to go in, too. <laughs> he always has something inappropriate to say about you anytime your name comes up. He is funny, but he's really a gentleman. Like, he really is. He's a good person. So, Kay Michelle is here, and it's uh, several reasons she's here. One, because she's a friend of the show. Two, yes. um, because she's got a lot of things happening that we need to talk about. And let's get to the first amazing thing, which is this Broadway play you're doing. Or play. Musical. I don't know if it's on Broadway, musical. No, it's a musical, Rebellious Soul. Where's, yes. it, where's it at? When is it? What's popping? Um, tomorrow. Okay. It is airing. When does this play? This will play tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, so today. today. So today. It airs today on VH1. Oh, dope. Um, and I turned my album into a musical. I took every song on the album and um, I rewrote it and made it a conversation to kind of ex explain more about where I come from. You know, um, I used to be a dancer, um, college graduate, just all the way down. So it's a and lot of things. When you say that dancer, people... you don't mean like. No, I was a stripper. Yeah. Like, ooh, I yeah. was a stripper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a full production with dancers or one woman show? No, no, it's it's a full production. Um, Idris Elba directed it. Me and him came up with oh, wow. um, the whole concept. Like I had the music ready, mm -hmm. and we're really good friends. And I talked to him about it and told him, and he said, "I want in. I'm gonna do it." So I thought he was playing. I didn't think he was really serious, but he was very serious. Our management got on the phone and just took it from there. And then thank God for VH1 and Atlantic, they paid for it, so. <laughs> that's good, well, I mean, it's good thank marketing, them. that's Woo! smart. <laughs> now that's smart to jump on a good marketing idea like that. Uh-huh, so I am so shocked. Like, you know, you have a vision, you never like think that something, you know, that big, you know, would just really come through and it came through. So, I, so I, we had a lot of conversations. You've grown a lot, right? So uh -huh. I knew you when you first had your first deal and then mm -hmm. now this time around and before the reality shows and all that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I always noticed in you that your creativity frustrated, your, your ability to create frustrated you because other people didn't get it. Yeah. Right? I'm still fighting that. Do you, but you seem like you're in a better place. Like even more, yeah. like the last time we talked, I was, uh, complimenting you because uh -huh. you seem like you was in a better place, but even yeah. more so now. Is that because now when you create, people are they're with you because they know your potential and they believe in you, as before it was like it was yeah. always obstacles? You know, I, I don't think people understood it. It's still a lot of people that don't understand it, but they're I have a lot of fans and I get new fans every day. It's like I'm making people believers every day, but the fact to have, you know, two major companies believe me you know and believe in me and allow me to do my vision like you know when I played it for the record label they was like you really sat here and did that you got too much time on your hands you really rewrote all of these songs and I was like yeah because I am so bored at this point with R&B music I am very bored very bored and why because it just seems like everybody's we're all singing, we're all me included, you know, all singing the same type of he broke my heart and it's no men singing R and B saying how much they love their women. They screaming, Oh, they ain't loyal. Mm -hmm. It's not like it the sounds, everything sounds the same. Mm -hmm. The producers aren't creating different sounds and different things. So I'm determined um, not to be bored. So that musical kept me from being bored. And then, you know, a lot of that is radio's fault. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot, And a lot of that is also, you know, how we get our ratings and the attention span of people because, you know, it takes so mm -hmm. long when you try to introduce them to something new. Yeah. It stumbles and it fails and it stumbles and it fails. And taking that time to, like, yeah. introduce the audience to something new is always... It takes so goddamn long. We'd be like, you know what? Just play something they already like. Boom. Yeah, and, no, and I know it's difficult for you guys. You get caught up in... You know, you have to do your job. You have to, oh, no, but you have to believe. Money. We yeah. gotta get this money. Yeah, you gotta get the we money, gotta get and you ratings. got, and you still want to believe in the music. So I understand that. So for me, I just said, you know, um, I'm 
you know, I'm in great standards with radio. You know, I've built those relationships and, you know, held my word on things like that. So hopefully, you know, this album is nothing like my first album. I just made everybody leave me alone. And, you know, I grew up, um, I got a yodeling scholarship to Florida a and I grew up on country music, and I was really determined this album mm. that I was going to... And you play classical piano. Yeah, mm. I was going to tap into everything. I'm not... I, Tired of the comparisons and and all of that. At first, it was cute, and at first, I was like, "Oh, I'm so flattered." Now, I'm like, "We're not even the same people." Yeah. You say comparisons. Who people compare you, you know, to? You know, you're good at that. But you know, what I got? <laughs> you know, the comparisons that I get. You know, I, great women, but that's not who I am. Got it. Like, so I, it's no, it's no shade, no, no shade. But yeah, no, but and you, and you no, have no every shade. right to feel that way. Yeah, I love, I love those women sold records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be that. But you're mad, just saying like, on, um, your let training, me be me. Your, and and your training is beyond other people's training. And the first album, I was angry and I was bending and it was f everybody, fuck you this, fuck you that, blah blah blah, and that's how the album was. It was that anger and aggression. And now, you know, just being in LA, my child's there with me. You see things. For, from a different perspective when you're writing the music is different the sounds and the weather the weather <laughs> <laughs> yeah the weather and um i just said this upcoming album i don't care because all of the greats took risk and they followed their heart so that's what i've done with this musical um i think I it should risk. be pointed out too though um you went out and i mean how many dates are you performing live <laughs> a year now Oh my God! I just cut it like cut it off because um, I was doing every like Thursday through week? Sunday. Yeah, about so three to four. For over what period of time? Like a year. Yeah, about a year wow. and a half at that. So. Um, but I, I, the reason I point to that is because I think a lot of artists um, they want to be able to take risks, but they don't grow their live performance. They don't grow their audience. That's my best part. Right. So I think I that enabled. Don't you feel like that enabled you to like push? The yeah, you got to more. see the people. Like, I think artists get so big, they don't want, even if if they gave me the money, I didn't care if I was going to, you know, the smallest hole in the wall in yeah. life. Those people still need to see you. And artists get so big that they forget that you still need those people. And um, just getting out there, seeing the faces, and, you know, I was in the airport, and it was the white boys. <laughs> I got off the thing, and I walked right past them, and they had my posters. And they was like, you didn't see them standing right there. I had to turn around. Because you didn't expect some no, white guys. No, no. <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I never expected, you know, some white guys to be waiting on me at the airport. I, you know, I didn't know if it was the police or not. I was like, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> you see? You see? You see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. So that, so I just want to take music to another level. And they don't have to like me. But I, I love seeing the comments and reading. I don't like her, but she can sing. But her music good. Okay, I take it. That's all it counts. That's all I it take counts. it. You don't have to agree with everything I say. But you are combative still. You still mix it up with some people, right? Yeah, like I say you, what I want to say. Did, well, and now, you correct me if I'm wrong, because uh -huh. I could be completely off base. Okay, okay, okay. You and L. Varner were under the same management and were Absolutely. cool. Absolutely, absolutely. And then did I read that something got sideways and crazy? Yeah, you read that right. Mm -hmm. So something did. So mm -hmm. so you're no longer cool with Elvarn. No, absolutely not. Mm. And was this over? This was over Meek. That's what they want to think. Oh, I've never okay. slept with Meek in my life. Me and Meek really are friends. We flirt right. and poke. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we don't poke. Yeah. So <laughs> it wasn't you know any of that. Um, the situation. You guys be looking at people on TV, and you guys get perspective of people uh because you see them because they might not go off on twitter you don't get to see the behind the Our scenes perception of, of them yeah is, like is you see me things. being loud all the time but you don't get in that situation even management was like she's worse than you so but because i speak out on something then i'm wrong i had a record it was my favorite record and it was right out on my album, and I wasn't allowed to put out that record because, you know, management, everybody said the record was too big. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that you mean? You know, I'm supposed to be the little black girl singing about heartbreak and and just, you know, doing that. And down and out. Down drama, and out yeah, and yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. niggas. And yeah. I'm not supposed to grow and do or be me. You know what I'm saying? Because they place you in a lane, and they want you to stay in that mm. lane. And I refused, so I had this record. It was too big. 
too big of a record. So they mean, I, and code word for y'all, when y'all hear too big, it means it's too mainstream, it's too, uh, uh, it's beyond the artist's brand, yeah. if you will. Thank you. It would have to be worked in every format. That's what was his record. And they so, didn't think that your appearance and your vocal stylings mm -hmm. and who you were fit every format. Absolutely. Not yet. You don't want to do this yet. It's always not yet. So with that situation, I remember I played that record for my friend at that time. I played the record. And the next thing I know, she threw off her shoes, jumped and said, oh, my God, this is a great record. So when she went through her breakup with Amon, she went through that breakup, she was searching for an identity. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to be more sexy. You know, she started wearing wigs and da 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 And she was hanging around me and she started to curse. And, I, and then she says to me, I'm the real bad girl. Mm. Okay, bitch, you can have it. You know what I'm saying? I've tried to get out of being the bad girl. <laughs> you can have Go it. You see how much fun it is getting talked about every day. Go for it. Run. Right now, they think you sell Girl Scout cookies every day. So, fine. But she played me a record. She said, you like the record? I said, that's my record. No. Oh. Ain't nobody yodeling on they hooks but me. This was the obvious. Then you went to the same producers. Mm. And I came to you like a woman. I said, this is my record. You can't put that out. <laughs> this sounds like me. And when you say it's your record, meaning she it sounds copied like, your style. Yeah, got it, got yeah. It. But I said it to you as a friend in a right. proper manner. I said it to management in a proper manner. Were you offended inside? Were you hurt inside of that? I was because she started to do blonde wigs and... You know, and we go to the club. She's standing, doing all this. What are you doing? You off beat, and it don't work. Like, just do you. Mm. So. <laughs> no shade. No shade, okay. <laughs> I'm telling the truth, truth. So, after all of that, I go to my management, and I just kind of express the concern and express that, and they promised me it would, be, it would be handled. But she's the princess of that management because you know I'm the bad guy. I take the bad guy all the time, but I'm the only one making money over there, paying for the lights and stuff. But we're not gonna talk about that, you, you know. I, you, just, you just talked about Oh it. yeah, so with that being said, we I'm the only one doing that. So you tell me, oh, we don't like that record, that record ain't gonna come out. The next thing I hear, she's singing it. So if you're supposed to protect me, and I come to you without spazzing first, anybody in this room will tell you, you I count to one, two, three, I tell you before I get you. I tell you, you better stop. Back it, bring it back. Because I'm going to come through hard. So when I look up and you have my, you let her sing this record and you know you're supposed to be protecting the both of us, what does that do? So now. It creates a rift between you and her. You feel like they're playing favorites. Yeah, and, and it's always it was always favorites because no one thought me coming from reality TV that it was going to go that far. Truth. No one. So when I'm the only one booking shows every week and paying 20% commission, and you can say, El Varner, the queen of MBK, mm, nah, I'm going I'm to I'm move. I'm going to move back. You know? Mm. So the Twitter post, that Instagram post that caused so much of it was, if you know, I, you know, I did. I did have a crush on Meek. Like, we, we do that. And you know that as my friend that me and Meek do this. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You get on Twitter and say, yeah, Meek tried to talk to me and I swerved him. Okay. Why would you do that to your friend? Mm. But I'm the crazy one, right? I'm the mean one. Let, I let it slide. I told so you man, felt like she was being messy? She was taking She wanted phone. attention because we don't attention. give a fuck about, about that India Ari ass music. No offense to Indy Ari, because I yeah, love you can't her. Just, you can't just take shots uh -oh. at Indy Ari while no, no, you no, taking no. shots at... I'm saying she, we like India because she's India. But you didn't... You not India. Sit down. Go find out. Now you K. Michelle in India with the guitar. It just don't work. So... This got crazy, people. I'm just K. curious. I'm just curious. Here. What did she say when you stepped to her about the record? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't oh, get God. it. I mean... It doesn't. I get what you're saying, but I'm I'm gonna use it. Okay. So she told you she was gonna continue to use the record. Yeah, but that's out of the jealousy of you have you have two females on the same thing, and she was there first. Right. So it's this whole thing. So you go and tweet this, and what if I was to do that? Y'all asses. Everybody in America would have told me up. Why you gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? But I let it slide. I didn't say anything. And you anything. felt like management just wasn't policing this and managing it. They didn't right. police anything. So 
when you taking pictures grinning with Meek and he didn't post it under the comment, he's saying, oh, I'm taking this picture to let her know how real the swerve was. He's still fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it was just too much for for the attention that she wants. I get it. I understand it. I'm not going to lie. She can sing. You know, I'll never take her gift from her. But I was very... I was very quiet. So you felt like in this that situation was just, it started getting really personal. Yeah, once once the song, once you took my song, you you doing this, then because we got into it about the song, you're doing this like posting pictures with Meek with hearts and shit to try to just do mm. something, you know. But y'all don't get on her for that. Nobody say that. Well, we don't know all. Of, we don't know. Well, all now that everybody time. know. This is what the world. So, know. but you look I hurt. Talk, you look hurt by my friend. Yeah, I am hurt because that was my friend. I am very, very hurt by that, that that I tried to be there for you through your breakup and you you turned into many K. Michelle. That really hurt me. And when I talked to you about it, woman to woman, you continued to twerk on tables like me and do what you post, you know. But I'm going to get off of it. The label said, let's talk about the music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the play yeah. tonight, VH1, Rebellious <laughs> Soul, she <laughs> rewrote the whole album and turned yes. it into a play. Yeah. Now, um, you are doing other things with VH1. Is that yes. what's going on with your show? There's been talks of a show. Yeah. What's what's the word on that? November third is the show. Um, we're just trying to get it together. Um, I want to make sure that every side of me is seen. You don't want it to go too boring, but you don't want it to go too just keep it at how you are from day to day well, but let's talk about that because okay. you've grown right so yeah. the, what vh1 got from you in the early days yeah. right of you being on there is probably <laughs> different than where you are in your life absolutely and i'm <laughs> sure they're like where's that other k michelle with all the problems yeah like i have problems but they not like problems with girls that i barely know you know right. what i'm saying like my life has changed like you know like my real friends have stolen from me and different things that I've had to other go. friends other than this like stole money wait like, so took all my your card and so wait all your friends <laughs> is tearing you apart what's happening here you know what not all of my friends I have great friends you know but I still have my friends from high school who don't understand what I'm doing now and just trying to fit them into my life now they don't sometimes get it sometimes people ain't gonna make it yeah some people they don't make not. the adjustment but that hurt you know it, it, it does it really hurts you try to explain to them what you go through every day mm -hmm. like don't go read a blog and blow up my phone in the morning to tell me about it I don't even read it why are we doing this like stuff like that you know I never let people see my son and me and you have talked about that yeah. um, I've been very big on that that wasn't the place for a child loving hip hop so I've allowed him to show his face within this when he said he wanted to do it and um, he gets a little Instagram love now and oh then. I know no, no Instagram I'm not doing that. You're not putting him on Instagram. How old is your son? Ten. No Instagram. It's so not you, that. Mm -mm. But so he's on the show though. Yeah, he can say hello. How you doing? Goodbye. Mm -hmm. He's very funny. He's absolutely okay. hilarious. All right, all right. Like he almost took my show from me. I said, <laughs> No, we're not doing so this. So now your son taking your show. You got Elvana taking yeah. songs, your son taking your I show. Mean, come it's on. a mess out here. <laughs> come on, but uh, you'll see that. Me as a mother and me and my son are really close. Right. So you get to see that. You get to see um, me making this new album. And um, it's just a different side. It's still very entertaining every day, but it's different. So so this is your own. So no more love and hip-hop for you? No. Never again? No. So um, how graphic is this stage or this play that we're going to see tonight? <laughs> Talk it's about not, it. Because you have, um, a, you have a, a, an overture, if you will, about pussy. Yeah. Um, does that I talk about it a lot, right? Yeah. Okay. You're very into your what do you call it? Uh hot pocket, your pussy. Yeah, like, I'm into it. You're very <laughs> into she it. works. She really works and I mean she's like magical. Any details that you could give us about her? Um, she's so, magical. In what way? Like I feel like now that she got back on track, like she's just like doing she's <laughs> she's like amazing, like really. Does um, she have a name? No, I should name her because I think you should. Cause it's weird to say she and not maybe give it like name. American and I feel Ninja like it's or something. American, American Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> um, is, is she is she being is she being taken care of by somebody else? Oh, see, you good. You are so good. You hired a good one. Cause this one is good. You, Always. <laughs> um, man, 
I mean, I'm human. You're stuttering. Man. You're stuttering. Well, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to so talk about. So somebody putting it down. I mean, you it know, doesn't have to be somebody we know. It I swing have to be on pose a little bit for somebody know? else. Yeah, you know, for for someone <laughs> I'm talking to. Why are you blushing? Cause I am, Ebro. This feels so funny talking to you about swinging about on your pose. vagina. Yes, and somebody being in your vagina. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it does. Sorry. Well, she's but happy. Is it somebody we know? I'm not doing this like right now. Let's so it up. is okay. No, so well, it is. So I'm it sure is. we'll okay. find out yeah. later. Mm -hmm. We'll <laughs> find out later. Somebody we know. How long has it been? Uh, probably now about five months. Oh, oh, that's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> older, older than you, younger than you. Um, a little bit, just a little bit younger than me. Same industry or completely I'm not opposite? Any of that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Do you have to go visit him, or does he see able to? Come oh you? wow! <laughs> <laughs> hey. Whatever. I'm not answering that. Uh, I'm not so answering. You, you must go visit. We'll him. talk. Me and you. Yeah. We, we All right. Talk. So she's being taken care of, and she's happy. Well, yeah. I, it sounds like that's why the Meek <laughs> Mill thing got sensitive. Well, well, yeah, it got sensitive because that wasn't even it what wasn't it was. Like that. And he was like, "Oh, she took your man. That's not my man. Mm -hmm. Like, I, that's not it. So it was deeper than that." And so did, the he, first catch, ones did know, he catch feelings about that? The assertion that Meek Mill and you had something? He don't get it. He don't that. care. He, he in don't his care. own world. Meek would do his own thing. Meek. No, not Meek catching feelings, oh, but your new guy. No, cause cause one thing about me when I date. Just like I'm open with y'all, I'm even more open Got it. with the person I date. So a man ain't gonna never be like, oh, I talked to your chick or da 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 da. I'm gonna tell you. Right. I'm gonna lay it out. Well, this is what I did, okay? <laughs> this is what happened. It's about to get messy. <laughs> yes, this is who I did this with. And this happened now. So if they can't take it, they can't take it. But you, it, women be lying and stuff running around here. I tell the truth about it. So be what they gonna do? Damn, this American Ninja thing intrigues me too. <laughs> <laughs> like, in what ways is it, is it a ninja? Like, it, it's a it's ninja. Silent, like, it's silent. You don't see it coming. Pause. Yeah, it be like clap. <laughs> it's like moving. You know it what moves. I'm saying? It moves. Yeah, it is. So, like, it. Yeah, it works. It pulses and breathes. It's amazing. It, she's great. This, I don't know how you go from broke to. I just think it was a mental thing. For me, it, so the, the American Ninja was broken. Yeah, American Ninja was broken. She was on injured reserve for a second. Yeah, I thought she was out of here. Finished. I thought we was done. And then you brought her back <laughs> to life. Yes. And she does she have a signature move? Um, she knows how to you know like you know reverse cowgirl. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Surfboard. She's Surfboard. good. Surfboard. <laughs> She's good. She's good. Do you talk about it? Like I'm excited having, that it's magical. Right, so but, I have talked about it. But does she talk like in so it's the heat of the moment is going on, right? And American <laughs> Ninja's doing her thing, right? And you, I'm assuming it's a ninja because you didn't see it coming. So you call everybody off guard, she hitting moves, bomb mm -hmm. bing, bomb bomb. Right. And does she then start do you talk about it? Like, do you narrate American Ninja once she's in action? Oh, like, you are you mean, calling like, the I moves? Like, like, pow, 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 pow. Oh, you know, like okay. Batman with the plow, plow. Yeah, you know, I, so I talk my shit. You know, I might sing a little bit. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like creative sex. Oh, okay. There's no way you're going to just poke me. That's for Facebook. You're not going to do it. Like, I like... So you need your man to be creative, too. Yeah, like, I like stickers on my body. Right. And, and just different things. Like, um, I want to, like... Toys. Like, I like toys. Chocolate, fruit, vegetables. Yeah, but I just instill on top of that, I need the man to be open to do everything, like, really creative. Hold on now. <laughs> When you talk to men and you say open to everything, we be they getting, be like, hey, nah, hey, look, hey, what are you trying? On, no, 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 hey, but I ain't gonna steer you wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I won't steer you wrong. Right. Hang on now. So I'm in a good, good place with that. I think a lot of my anger and I was shaking the table and stuff. I had a lot of sexual. Wasn't it. They wasn't. Yeah, I had it some tension going on. Yeah. yeah. And I know that's what it was, but like right now. Everything is good, you know. I got a couple issues I probably come back and talk to you about. Everybody has issues. But other uh, listen, than that, if it ain't, it's not good if it doesn't have issues. Yeah. Always remember that nothing's perfect. All right. Nothing's perfect. Cool. And you going like I tell Laura Styles all the time. You gonna have to figure out when you start negotiating. <sighs> I hate she this hates talk. this talk. What do you mean? 
there's things that you wouldn't put up with normally, right? Okay. So, but as you, we all grow and we get older and more mm -hmm. mature, you start to negotiate with your partner, right? And meaning like, I'll right, accept I'm, that, but I won't take that. Right. Okay. Like the deal breakers are the deal breakers, boom. Okay. But there's things that are, eh, that, you know, let's work through these things if we're really going to be in this together because everything's not perfect. Yeah. And if you want somebody to accept your imperfections. You have to accept theirs. You got to accept theirs. I mean, that's theirs. true. And now there's things, once again, there's things that are off the table. These are not for negotiation. Like, off the table for me is like, um, I need to be able to get to you. Like, I don't do like. Mean? Why are you breathing so heavy when you like, say that? Like, I don't like that because I'm like, okay. Why are you breathing so heavy? You're making me nervous, man. <laughs> I, I'm like, I, I don't like it. I need to be able like to get it. to you. <sighs> I don't like it. Like you, don't need to, like you need it. to be able. You need to be able to locate Especially, him. Especially, yeah, I need to locate okay. you. Like, I need to. Like, if I call you, don't don't talk to me in the morning, and then I can't find you at night. No, mm -mm. I don't play those games. Laura Styles has the same problem. I do too. I need to know. Yeah, don't you need to know? And you ain't fa you ain't fail to sleep all the time. Yeah, like I hate that. That is the worst excuse that many men have tried with me. It depends, though. Y'all got to nah, understand. You all got, I think every, out, every one time out, it's okay, man, but all time the time. Out, you out, have a now. ring, No, tone. listen. What are my work hours? It don't matter. It does what, matter. If you're my man and if something happens to me, I need to be able Fair? to get to you. So Fair. you need to pick up your phone. Do I smoke weed? Yeah, I mean, but that's no excuse. Wanna, you got a job. It is an excuse. If I call you, I'm not going to call you at 9 a.m. You're going to call me back till 9 p.m. Okay, okay. I didn't know you were saying that. Which means that, which means, and I work very early, <laughs> oh, okay. right? Like, I've been All up right. right now. I've been awake since last night. Yeah. We went out to the, you know, parties, whatever. So I've been awake the whole night. Yeah. So today when I go home, guess what? I'm asleep. Okay, if you but wouldn't, call you me, wouldn't you tell your girl, I've been up the entire night, I'm going to go home and fall asleep. So I know so that you're probably going to be knocked right? for like you five, talk, six you, hours. But, but he's telling you. So communication. communication. Just to disappear so for some say hours. That, say that. Communication. I need communication. I've said that before. So that's when it's, that's my no. I if can you, compromise I need, a lot of things. That's my no. I need communication. Communication. Yeah. Right, that's my big deal break. American Ninja. That's got moves. Communication. Yes. The uh, the uh, stage play musical tonight Rebellious on VH1 soul. Rebellious Yay! Soul. <laughs> Pussy so gets an overture. Pussy gets an overture. <laughs> or not? Nah. Yeah, nah. Cut it out, man. Uh, All right. Rebellious Soul.